previous level. However, it doesn't look great, does it? It doesn't look strong. It looks weak because you're getting selling and that's not what you want to see. You want to you want to wait for the selling to stop. That's what we want to see. We want to see the selling to stop. And once the selling stops, then the buying will resume. That's kind of how the market works. It goes from buying to selling to buying to selling. Why are people selling? Well, because they're taking profits. Some people are selling because they're taking profits. Some people are selling because they're covering their long positions. But no one is really selling because they think Bitcoin is going to zero. That's the that's the key observation here. And I think this is the most important um, observation in my mind. I don't think there's anyone on this planet who thinks Bitcoin is going to zero. Unless you're mad. The context is really important. We're one month before the halving in March. April is the halving month. That's next month. So in the halving month, Bitcoin has always gone up. And if history repeats itself next month, which is the halving month, Bitcoin will go up. No one is selling because they're trying to push the price of Bitcoin down. They think <coughs> excuse me, Bitcoin is going to zero or they think Bitcoin is losing its value. We have to understand the reasons why people sell. Why are people selling? Okay. You've got different kinds of people selling in this in this price action. You've got higher time frame traders who are covering their longs with shorts in this move. And what they do is they'll cover their shorts so that they don't lose USD value. So let's just say for the sake of argument, this was all shorting. As the price declines, they don't lose USD value because they've shorted their whole position. And then what they will do, they'll be looking to do is on another account as the price declines on a separate account the same people will be looking for longs so wherever the longs are they'll be looking to long it on a separate account and effectively what ends up happening is that the same people will be in longs and shorts at the same time okay they'll have shorts from when the price reversed and then they'll be looking to build up their long position and in effect what's happening is that these people will still be long because eventually what's going to happen is that their shorts are going to get squeezed and but they'll still be but what they're doing at the same time is that even though that they're, they're in shorts they're going to accumulate long positions that's what they do so most of the people that are sitting in shorts at the highs won't take crazy profits on their shorts the way they do it is that they'll be adding to their longs as the price declines they have two completely separate accounts one for shorts one for longs they've already shorted their whole position at the highs and they're probably now comfortably sitting in uh, a hedge that's what it is it's a hedge they've probably got their position set to break even because we've lost some key levels okay they won't take profit on that short most of these shorts won't take profit on the short why because they just shorted the all-time high and the price has declined okay the reason why they won't take profit is because it's a hedge so a lot of these bigger players will be sitting on big shorts and their invalidation will probably be at break even. And then what they will be looking to do, the same, exactly the same people will be looking to long Bitcoin le on leverage. And these people will be using a cross leverage platform. So it doesn't matter if their position portfolio is 
on a short uh, position or a long position, it will be combined. The, the, the leverage is combined. And so they can use the same equity to leverage. And they can leverage in short, they can long, but they'll be doing it on multiple accounts. And that's what's actually happening right now. So right now, I don't think people are selling because they're looking for lower for Bitcoin. They're selling because either they've got big positions in Bitcoin spot and they've just hedged their long positions so they don't lose USD value as the price drops. And then the other types of people that are selling Bitcoin right now are the people who have leveraged long from much lower down. And what they will do is they will start, they will start to deleverage and take profits in the highs of the Bitcoin range. And that's the other type of person who is selling Bitcoin. Okay. So the two types of people are selling Bitcoin. The traders don't care. The traders really don't care if the price of Bitcoin goes up or down. They'll just trade. If it goes up or goes down, they'll take their profit. They'll go to the next trade. You're going to get some higher time frame traders who may try to swing short Bitcoin. But I think that's in the scheme of things, in the context of the Bitcoin halving year and the bull market, it's going to be a very limited amount of people who do that. And most traders will be looking to take their profit quite quickly. They don't necessarily affect the overall price and movement of Bitcoin because they'll be looking to long and short. They're not fussed. They're not really fussed about the way the price moves. And so at the moment, what we're seeing is a little bit of take profit combined with a little bit of covering. Okay. The reason why you cover is because you're not sure about the medium term direction of the price and you're, you've got some bigger long positions lower down. And then, so what you will do is you'll hedge effectively. That's what's happening. I think most of the serious people have already hedged personally. That's what I'm imagining. I think what we experienced here and here was some significant hedging from some significant people. And the reason why I, I think that is because I didn't see any liquidations as we took the liquidity from the highs. I didn't see any crazy liquidation bubbles as we were swing failure, the highs as we were SFPing the highs. And that would have been a good sign. But we didn't see that. And so what I am thinking to myself is a lot of these bigger players on their cross leverage platforms had slightly wider market stop positions so they wouldn't get stopped out and then there just wasn't enough upwards pressure by liquidity to keep on pushing the price because people generally speaking aren't looking to buy in the highs generally speaking they're not people are looking to buy on the pullbacks and in the lows so right now what we're seeing in this, this correction is just you could call it a correction but effectively what it is are longs taking profits and i'm talking about people who are long from 20,000 40,000 30,000 whatever thousands they're saying okay i want to go on a holiday i want to take a little bit of profit whatever and then you've got people who are who are in longs because they're long bitcoin and they're just slowly shorting or building a short to cover their Bitcoin, just to cover their Bitcoin. And so as Bitcoin starts to create pivots, and as you can see, we've got this kind of bearish market structure in play right now. And so we have some pivots here. So we have one here, we have one here. So potentially you could argue maybe even one here. Actually, that's not a pivot because we haven't made a lower low. <clears throat> so the pivot to beat right now, if you're shorting, is this one here. And I'll explain. Look, see this? This is a higher low. These are your higher highs. Actually, to be frank, 
we change market structure up here you can clearly see it that was your higher high this is your higher low here yeah it's a higher low higher high higher high these are higher lows this is your lower low you make a lower low then you make a lower high And now we're into a lower low. See that? This is very, I'm just scribbling. Potentially, this is your lower high. Okay. And so as these pivots are being putting in, as, as we start getting these lower highs, slowly but surely what's going to be happening is that the shorts will start moving their market stop orders down. Slowly, they'll start moving moving the market order. so maybe before they had their invalidation here maybe now they'll start moving the invalidation to the next pivot if we now go down and make a lower low then maybe they'll move it to the next pivot etc and they'll just keep on doing that until eventually somewhere in the future they'll get squeezed up okay but they don't care because at the end of the day even if they get squeezed they they'll be in profit because they shorted the highs and they'll also be in longs as well so if they get squeezed their long positions uh will push up and actually their overall bias in this market is up and i think that's really important because having that overall bias allows you to do things in a certain way that you wouldn't necessarily do otherwise okay so my overall bias in this market is up i'm not thinking down at all everything is up but that doesn't mean i'm just going to buy the 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 pumps it just means that i'm looking for higher lows effectively that's all it means okay so that's the kind of that's the reason why bitcoin is correcting now it's just simply because people are taking profit people are looking to cover their longs And we kind of at that, we kind of finished with that whole ETF, just buy, 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 buy mentality. We're kind of done with that now. I think that kind of idea is over and we're just looking for a little bit of a correction. And so the best way to see how this is going to correct or where to, uh, it, the higher is to look at the higher time frame. So we go to the higher time frame. We look at the monthly candles. Yeah, I mean, look, if the monthly candle closes anywhere here, it's it may look bearish to most people, but I think this is extremely bullish. The reason why I think this is extremely bullish is because we made a new new all time high. You can never be bearish when you're making new all time highs. Yeah, like even if we even this second all time high that we made here even though the price declined it wasn't a bearish um idea the idea of making all-time highs new highs is, is bullish you know because effectively what it means is that people are buying higher right you can go all the way back to um 2017 and look at this 2017 all-time high and say well that's really bearish look look what happened the price dropped yeah even though maybe in most people's imaginations that was bearish in reality that was bullish because you put in a higher high on this yearly time frame okay and so all that was needed now was for the price to correct form a higher low uh, and eventually it would take out that high and all the people that did needed to do was just keep on buying effectively because the higher higher the higher higher was put in and so when you take that idea and you apply it to the context of today of the current um bitcoin price action i think it's really important that we have context and what i'm suggesting is that the best way to go about making money from crypto is buying <laughs> in the bull market effectively 
but obviously people are the, 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 then it comes down to how you buy you know, the strategies that you employ for taking profit etc 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 that's all personal stuff everyone has their own methods everyone is comfortable with different risk risk uh, appetites they have different risk appetites and no one is the same okay no one is absolutely perfectly right everyone is different so you just have to kind of discover your own self to see what you're comfortable with and you have to com com come up with a strategy which works for you okay now the techniques that i'm using on the most part when i say when i'm talking about crypto in the context of a higher time frame cyclical bull market i'm talking about dollar cost averaging really honestly i think most people should dollar cost average just buy a little bit every day don't care about the price and uh, be very kind of diversified in your risk appetite in your portfolio and then on average you will make gains the trading that i'm talking about when it comes to bitcoin is very specific type of trading very specific and it's about having a very separate trading account completely separate from your long-term trading account and you will risk one percent of that at max and then you will take profit very quickly very different kind of trading and actually that's what most trading is most trading is that it's done by bots um but humans do it too bots do it better and um, because they're not very emotional that's the kind of trading that I'm talking about when I'm looking at Bitcoin. Everything else is just for fun. Everything else is speculative. Let's just see what's happening to Bitcoin. Let's try and predict the price. You know, it's mainly or mostly it's entertainment value. And it obviously will have some educational benefit too. Uh, because most people don't really know what I'm talking about. And so I'm kind of giving people some factual knowledge about how the markets work and how candles move and where there are technical levels of support and resistance etc uh, and it's quite interesting for most people because it's it's a fascinating subject and it's quite it's quite large it's, there's quite a lot of material to to receive and to learn to understand so i like to look at everything i like to look at everything to contemplate the price action and most of the time i'm wrong <laughs> and sometimes i'm right and then as long as you can create good trade plans then you will always be right because then it will just be about executing your trade plans and appropriating the correct risk versus uh, reward and and that's it i'm taking a profit so yesterday when i was looking at the range um i'm coming back to these daily 